Hey guys, welcome back to Suburban Ranch. Today we're working on our 1990 K1500 and I'm gonna show you how to set the timing. We're under the hood. The first step is to remove this cover. It's held on with just three little plastic thumb screws that I've already removed. So we'll pop that off. Next up, there is one wire under here that you'll want to disconnect. Uh, and I've already disconnected it here just to show you what it looks like. Um, and this wire controls the automatic advance. And so by unplugging it, uh, we'll disable that automatic advance and we'll be able to set the timing. We've got our timing light here. Uh, the timing light's got two sets of wires coming out of it. One set is for power. So we've got that connected to our battery. The other wire is an induction pickup that we've got connected to the number one spark plug wire. Uh, so what we're gonna do is fire the truck up and we're gonna need to look way down here near the harmonic balancer. So when we look down there, we see a timing mark and I've put a little piece of blue tape on the zero degree index on that timing mark. And what we wanna do is shine our timing light down there while with the engine running uh, and it'll flash every time the number one cylinder fires and we want to line up the mark on the harmonic balancer with the mark on that timing cover. Um, and we want it to be right at zero degrees with that advance unplugged. One last thing we want to do before we crank the engine up is to loosen the distributor a little bit. Um, so I've got a distributor wrench here, which is really handy because you can get down onto the bolt that holds that distributor clamp in place. So I've just loosened that up a little bit so I can barely turn the distributor. So that'll allow me to adjust the timing as the engine is running. We've got the truck running, timing lights connected. So you should be able to see that flash every time the number one cylinder fires. So let's go ahead and take a look down here. I went ahead and uh, rotated the distributor a little bit. I've got the timing set right at zero degrees. It might be a little bit hard to see on the video, but we'll, we'll grab a picture of it and post it on this video as well so that you can see the timing mark a little bit better. Uh, and I went ahead and snugged down the distributor as well. So, you know, very small movements of that distributor will impact the timing out here. Uh, so you don't have to move it much to, to make your adjustments. I hope you guys found that video useful. If you enjoyed this content, please do subscribe.